A national symbol is a symbol of any entity considering itself and manifesting itself to the world as a national community. The Republic of India has several official national symbols which brings out the rich culture and heritage of our nation. National symbols signify the important link to our people, culture and tradition. These symbols are intrinsic to Indian identity and heritage. Indians of all demographic backgrounds across the world are proud of these national symbols as they infuse a sense of pride and patriotism in every Indian's heart. Here is the list of national symbols of incredible India you should know. The national flag of India is a horizontal tricolored flag with saffron at the top, white in the middle and green at the bottom in equal proportion. The ratio of the width of the national flag to its length is 2 is to 3. In the center of the middle white band is the navy blue wheel that represents the chakra. The top saffron indicates the strength and courage of the nation. The middle white band represents peace and truth with the dharma chakra. The green shows fertility, growth and auspiciousness of the land. The design of the chakra is that of the wheel that appears in the abacus of Sarnath, the lion capital of Ashoka. Its diameter approximates to the width of the white band and it has 24 spokes. The national flag of India was designed by Pingali Venkaya. This design was adopted by the Constitutional Assembly of India on 22nd July 1947. Thank you. The state emblem is an adoption from the Sarana Lion capital of Ashoka, which is near Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh, has four Asiatic lions standing back to back in a circular abacus. It stands as a fully bloomed inverted lotus form. The four Asiatic lions face at four different directions, north, south, east and west. The national motto is Satyame Vijayate, whose English translation is Truth Alone Triumphs. The capital is crowned by the wheel of the law, Dharma Chakra. The national anthem of India, Janagana Mana, composed originally in Bengali by Ravindranath Tagore, was adapted in its Hindi version by the Constituent Assembly as the national anthem of India on 24th January 1950. It was first sung on 27th December 1911 at the Kolkata session of the Indian National Congress. The complete song consists of five stanzas. The first stanza contains the full version of the national anthem. Playing time of the full version of the national anthem is approximately 52 seconds. A short version consisting of the first and the last lines of the stanza playing time approximately 20 seconds is also played on certain occasions. The song Monday Madram, composed in Sanskrit by Bunking Chandra Chatterjee, a source of inspiration to people in their struggles for freedom. As an equal status with Janagana Manan. On January 24, 1950, the President Dr. Rajendra Prasad came up with a statement in the Constitution Assembly. The song Monday Madram, which has played a historic part in the struggle for Indian freedom, shall be honored equally with Janagana Mana and shall have equal status with it. The first political occasion when it was sung was the 1896 session of India National Congress. The song was a part of Bunking Chandra's most famous novel, Anand Mat, 1882. The National Pledge is an oath of loyalty decided during the Independence Day and Republic Day celebrations. It is recited in the morning assembly of most Indian schools. The pledge was originally composed in Telugu language by the writer Pidimari Venkata Subarao in 1962. It was first read out in a school in Vishagapatinam in 1963 and was subsequently translated into various regional languages. The Saka era marked the beginning of the Saka Sangvar, a historic Hindu calendar. It was adopted as the Indian national calendar on 22nd March 1957 
It consists of 365 days and 12 months. The Sakha calendar is used also by the Indonesian Hindus in Bali and Java. The peacock was declared as the national bird in 1960. It was considered as the national bird in the first place because of its abundance and people are also familiar with it. The Indian peacock, the national bird of India, is a colorful swan-sized bird with a fan-shaped crest of feathers, a white patch under the eye and a long slender neck. The male of the species is more colorful than the female with a glistening blue breast and neck and a spectacular bronze-green tail of around 200 stretched out feathers. The female is brownish, slightly smaller than the male and lacks tail. The elaborate courtship dance of the male fanning out the tail and preening its feathers is a gorgeous sight. The Royal Bengal Tiger was declared as the national animal of India in April 1973. The initiation of Project Tiger is to protect tigers. Previously, lion was our national animal. Tiger displayed the wildlife wealth of India. The magnificent tiger is a striped animal. It has a thick yellow coat of fur with dark stripes. The combination of grace, strength and enormous power has earned the tiger its pride of place as the national animal of India. Lotus, the national flower of India is also known as the flower of goddess Lishmi, which signifies wealth, prosperity, purity, good faith and achievement. This aquatic plant occupies a unique position in the art of mythology and mythology of ancient India. Indian banyan is the national tree of India. Kalpa Viruksha, which means wish fulfilling tree. The Indian banyan tree represents internal life due to its enormous branches. A country's foundation has to be deep rooted like the roots of the banyan tree. Different birds and animals take shelter in this tree, also signifying Indians as different caste religions coming together to seek shelter as a community in a nation. The Indian rupee was was named after the silver coin called Rupiya. It was first issued in the 16th century. Indian rupee is the official currency of Republic of India and controlled by the Reserve Bank of India. The new symbol was officially adapted in 2010 and started in circulation on 8th July 2011. Mango is the national fruit of India. It has been cultivated since the beginning of the age. They are truly native to the Indian subcontinent. Akbar the great Mughal emperor had planted about one lakh amount of mango trees. India is home to more than 100 varieties of mango fruit. The national sport of India. Hockey when it was declared the national sport, it was very popular. During 1928 and 1956, India has won six consecutive gold medals in the Olympics. At the time, India had played 24 hockey games and undefeated in each one of them. The Ganga is the national river of India and the most sacred river. The Indian cities which are famous for this river are Varanasi, Allahabad and Haridwar. Ganga is the longest river in India. National Aquatic Animal of India The river dolphin has become an endangered species. Hence, to save them from extinction, the government declared them as the National Aquatic Animal in 2009. It is a reliable indicator of the health of the entire river ecosystem. Gangetic dolphins are found in Nepal, India and Bangladesh. The Indian government declared the Indian elephant as the heritage animal to bring in more concentration toward pursuing them in India. The King Cobra, the national reptile of India. The King Cobra
opera is recognized as a symbol of philosophy, culture and tradition. The snake is considered as Lord Shiva's ornament as it is wrapped around his neck. It is considered as energy and speech. It is also considered as a semi-god. The Indian pumpkin is the country's national vegetable. It is known as the poor man's vegetable since it grows quickly and produces great vegetable. It is grown and consumed in almost all parts of tropical India. Pumpkins are produced all over the world. Mm -hmm. Only Antarctica is unable to grow pumpkins. Each national symbols of India have the brutal significance to the Indian subcontinent. It also signifies the country's history, culture, depth and community. They mainly reflect the country's growth prosperity and how the country needs everything to come together and to prosper. All should respect the national symbols. Let us all try to save and safeguard our nation as well as the integrity of our national symbols.